So it takes 7.1 seconds to travel 85 meters along a road. And we need to work out if this car was breaking the speed limit. So first of all, we're gonna work out the speed of that car using the equation that speed is equal to distance divided by time. So the distance is 85 meters and the time is 7.1 seconds. So when we work out the speed in meters per second, 85 divided by 7.1 is equal to 11.97 meters per second. So is that fast? I'm not quite sure. I mean, I don't know from the top of my head if this is bigger or lower than 30 miles per hour. So what we've got to do now is convert this from my meters per second into miles per hour. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is convert this time from seconds into hours. I'm gonna do this by multiplying it by 3,600 because there are 60 seconds in 60 minutes. So if I take 11.97, multiply it by 3,600, um, I'm just going to take this, uh, the, the, the raw value that I've actually got on my calculator, times it by 3,600. That means the car actually goes 43,099 metres per hour. Now that's a big number, but we can also think of that about that as being about 43 kilometres per hour. Anyway, we're going to convert from this distance in metres into miles. So to go from metres into miles, what I'm going to be doing is dividing by this conversion factor of 1,609. And again, this is given to us in the question. You don't have to remember that off the top of your head. So again, the previous answer, uh, 43,099 divided by 1,609 gives us a value of 26.8. So this means that the speed of that car, even uh, up, rounded up to two significant figures, uh, like we have in the raw data here. So that's 27 miles per hour. That is still lower than 30 miles per hour, which means that the car wasn't speeding and it was well within the speed limit.